Well, there's nothing like a challenge in this past weekend. Curling enthusiasts headed outside for their sport. In this week's Northwoods Adventure, our Josh Peterson shows us how curling outdoors can require more skill. Curling indoors is one thing, but outside on a frozen lake, it's another. This past weekend, 28 teams competed for top honors in the fourth annual Bemidji Winterfest curling competition. Curling has become a staple in Winterfest, and conditions this year made the ice ideal. It's become more of a, uh, you know, every annual year, this, this is an event. This is something people look forward to. I know there's lots of people in the local hotels just because of this, and kind of, that, that's cool. I mean, that never hurts. While the light snow that fell over Winterfest on Saturday made it look like a snow globe, it made it difficult for curlers. One of the aspects that makes curling on the lake so much more difficult is the weather conditions. Snow flurries like this can make it more difficult to glide across the ice. A little issue, first time in four years that we actually had it snow while we were curling, which has really been unique. It's, uh, it's, been, it's still fun. Everybody has to play on the same ice. Those who competed say curling on the lake requires more skill, and the added snow added another level of difficulty. It's slipperier, it's slower, um, but it's a lot of fun. Push like crazy. Despite the wintry conditions, Winterfest was still able to attract curling teams from all over the region. Slots filled up quickly as Winterfest approached. They're all the way from, we had one team signed up, they were from Minneapolis, a couple from Illinois, and one from St. Louis. I really? Think. Yeah, it was, we're surprised when we get the, you know, the forms back where the teams are actually from. We had a lot of out-of-town teams. For some of its competitors, it's more than curling. It's supporting the local community. The Bemidji's not far away, so we wanted to support their community and their curling club as well. A smaller curling rink was set up next to the competition rinks to inspire youth to try out the sport and get them interested at a young age. For those who curl, they say just give it a try. Just do it and have fun. It's a hoot and a half. The grand prize for curlers that win the tournament get their names engraved in a Paul Bunyan sized trophy that will sit on display for all visitors to see in the Bemidji Chamber of Commerce. With this week's Northwoods Adventure in Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.